Oh crap, uh, I didn't wear my Naragi today. Oh, oh no. Now I have to deliver tech news in, in a shirt? Yeah. Oh my god, so embarrassing. It's the worst. Naragi! <laughs> Naragi! Ring, the Amazon subsidiary famous for sending its customer security cam recordings to police without asking, has decided that you need another reason to not buy their products. Ring announced last week that several previously free features will be paywalled behind a subscription before the end of the month. Starting March 29th, new users will not be able to use the Ring app to arm or disarm their security, receive alarm notifications, or customize automations between compatible products, meaning things like setting your Ring cameras to record when your Ring alarm is triggered will no longer be possible without an active Ring Protect subscription. Those features used to come included with the camera purchase, but can you really put a price on home security? I tried, it's hard. Maybe you can't, but for Amazon, it's no problem. They can do it twice! This sucks for anyone considering buying Ring products, but even existing Ring users will still have to pay up or lose access to the home and away modes for Ring cameras, which means your advanced internet connected security camera will soon be a glorified webcam. Start your streaming career. Yeah, stream yourself. <laughs> to the police. To the police. It's like Netflix, but for cops! <laughs> to summarize, the company that gives police warrantless access to security camera video will make it less intuitive to stop recording on your security cameras if you don't pay a monthly fee. Alexa, what's the definition of extortion? What you just said. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. I'm Alexa. Thanks, Rylexa. It's me, Lexa. At least four EV manufacturers have issued recalls in the last month, all for distinct yet very good reasons. Rivian recalled 13,000 vehicles for a sensor issue that could stop an airbag from deploying, while Electromechanica recalled 428 automobiles because of a defect that could cause the motor to shut down, and Lordstown recalled 19 of their buggies because of a possible fault that caused drive power loss and could even brick the car. That's a bad buggy. <laughs> bad to the bone. <laughs> the worst of all is Tesla. Almost 3,500 Model Ys need to be recalled because the bolts securing the rear seats and seat belts aren't tight enough. I guess the dude, the bolt tightening guy, like his wrench arm was injured that day and he's just like, ah, good enough. You don't want to over tighten. You don't want to bolt it too good. You don't want people to like be safe in an accident. Then they get, they get, they get entitled. Yeah. It'll start cutting into the wood. Sure would. It doesn't stop there for Tesla. Just last week, shareholders sued the company and Elon Musk for allegedly misrepresenting the efficacy of Tesla's full self-driving, or FSD, tech. It might have something to do with the mid-February recall of over 362,000 vehicles because their FSD beta software caused them to be too enthusiastic about going straight through intersections while in a turning lane, and other incredibly dangerous behaviors. In lighter news, the Model S and X received yet another price cut yesterday, almost like recent events have affected demand or something maybe? I don't know. Regardless, it's never been cheaper to blame your car for your own reckless driving. The buyer's market. And another swath of upcoming Apple announcements have been teased by none other than the Germinator himself, Mark Gurman. Allegedly a new iMac, perhaps powered by an M3 chip, will be coming out around the second half of this year. Or at least, that's what we determined from Gurman's sermon. Testify! <laughs> Amen! The current model was announced in April 2021, so the all-in-one is due for a refresh. He also claimed there is a 15-inch MacBook Air due to come out with an M2 chip, and a 13-inch M3 powered Air possibly coming later in the year. But do any of you remember the Mac Pro? Apple seems to have forgotten about it since the last one released in 2019. Although, to be fair to Apple, 2019 is probably the last year I personally was able to track the passage of time. Mark Gurman mentioned previously the new Pro will be powered by the M2 Ultra, but I'm pretty sure that was discontinued in 1973. I mean, how would you even give a computer LSD? I guess we'll find out in early spring or summer this year. Just gotta think really hard about it. People were tortured, Riley. But then they got psychic powers. I mean, maybe in Stranger Things. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by The Ridge. Simple, yet elegant, The Ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards and still has room for cash with a money clip or an elastic band. Its low profile means that The Ridge wallet will fit in most pockets and bag compartments. No need to worry about durability or theft. This bad boy is made with premium RFID blocking materials. And it's even got a lifetime warranty. Still on the fence? Well, the team over at The Ridge are so confident you'll love their product, they offer a 45-day test drive period. If you're unsatisfied, simply send the wallet back for a full refund. 
Click the link below and make sure to use the code LINKED at checkout to get free worldwide shipping and 10% off your purchase. And tell them I sent you and that I'm very nice. Okay. Just an FYI, this isn't the quick bits. This is just the intro to them. Yeah, they like, they come next. Know what the, just know what the quick bits are. You know? Yeah, like yeah. Let's, let's do that. I know it's confusing. Yeah. A bug in NVIDIA's latest GeForce driver has reportedly been causing CPU usage to increase by about 10% after exiting games. That is one needy roach. Who's the roach? It's a bug. It needs a lot of juice. It's a thirsty boy. Fortunately, the bug is now known to the GPU maker, so it should be fixed soon. Although, hopefully they'll first address the bug that causes their newest GPUs to increase spending by 40%. Oh, got him. Speaking of driver bugs, AMD's Radeon drivers have a rare bug that can brick a PC. Now that's a mean roach, what we call that right there. That's a really mean roach. That, one's, that, one, that one hates you. AMD has publicly acknowledged the issue and has helped at least one computer journalist through the complicated fix before they finish the permanent one. And that's all well and good, but this bug has been around for at least a month. The hardy bug. Yeah, it lives forever. AMD has a history of eventually fixing their cards with software updates, but maybe a bug that takes out a whole computer could be like bumped up the list. A Rambo bug. Out they took first blood, not me. <laughs> Scammers have started tricking people into sending them money by using AI to emulate the voices of colleagues and loved ones trained on just a few sentences. One poor woman was almost scammed by someone posing as her grandson. Some have loftier ambitions and are tricking businesses by impersonating supervisors and directors. I can't imagine who would fall for. No, that's not important. No, uh, Riley, it's Linus. He, he needs your mother's maiden name. Oh, it's Twitter appears to have played itself after internal and external links stopped working due to an error. After announcing the restriction of the platform's API, Twitter's links stopped working due to code 467, which hilariously states, your current API plan does not include access to this endpoint. <laughs> the 467. What is More it? like 469. <laughs> because they screwed themselves. Even Twitter has to pay itself for access to the Twitter API. I mean, how else are they gonna make up for that $3 billion a year loss? Get some more transactions going. Yeah, get them going. Who cares about accounting fees? Get more entries in the log. And researchers have used stable diffusion to translate brain waves into images. The scientists showed participants images during fMRI scans. The data from those scans was then decoded into text representations and input into the diffusion model. And the results do seem to resemble the presented images. Now, this isn't exactly at the level of outputting memories from people's brains, but imagine how much closer we'll be to that when AI is advanced enough to take all of our jobs. Darn it, we'll be able to look at our memories in a TV. <laughs> Remember when we had jobs? Remember jobs? I remember. But it can never take away your tech news, so make sure you come back on Wednesday. And if you're really good, well, maybe I'll dress up. Uh, or I won't be hosting, one of the two. Okay. Wear normal clothes. These aren't normal, these are abnormal clothes. Oh, that's true. I prefer robes. You look super weird right now.